guys, it's me again, Joel, your Bisaya reader, and welcome back to another video. And for today, I'm going to show you the books that I'm planning to read for the month of November. So, by the way, guys, before we proceed, I just want to set expectations to you that this video will be the first type of video on my channel for the main reason that this video will not be edited. So, this was or this will be shot with one attempt only, and hopefully, I will be able to do some justice and commit less mistakes probably so if you will be able to find mistakes all throughout the video especially grammar lapses etc et i would like to apologize in advance and yeah uh, i just need to do something or try something new in my channel <laughs> um, no to be honest i am just really lazy to edit the video and yeah that's it so yeah without further ado these are the books that i'm planning to read for the month of November and um, I think the first book that I'm planning to read for the month of November is pretty obvious and that will be The Toll by Neil Schusterman. I still don't have a physical copy as of this moment. It is still not available here in the Philippines but it was released already um, yesterday and um, also after The Toll by Neil Schusterman, it, The Star Sight by Brandon Sanderson because I've been waiting for months for those books or even a year now to read those books so I can't really wait to read those this month and um, next that I'm planning to read will be Cormac McCarthy The Road this is a Pulitzer Prize for fiction winner for the year 2007 and actually I started reading this already I'm on the 23rd page and um, uh, it's it, this is an adult post-apocalyptic where we follow our two main characters a father and a son and that's what i know so far because the synopsis at the back is not really helpful so i'm just really trusting the reviews and also the award for this one but um so far for the first 20 pa plus pages uh, i'm enjoying it hopefully i'll be able to enjoy it until the last page uh, the next one that i'm going to read or planning to read will be neil schusterman's the Shua was here. This is one of the first books of Neil Shusterman published way back in 2000 or early 2000s. Uh, Neil Shusterman is one of my autobi author. I really love his uh, Skin Jacker trilogy. That's when, uh, that's where I first discovered him. The Everlost. If you haven't heard that before, it's a must read for you guys. Um, also, again, the Toll, which is the third book of the site. Sight Dome series or trilogy. Um, Neil Schusterman, this is actually a young adult or middle grade, but based on the length, I think this is a middle grade contemporary. And to be honest, I don't have any idea what this book is all about. All I know is that this is uh, the category and the genre. That's it. I'm just really trusting Neil Schusterman with this one. So, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to enjoy this, and this is a very short read, so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to finish reading this for the month of November. The next book that I'm planning to read will be a mystery crime slash thriller adult. That will be Lucy Clark's Last Scene. I did find this one interesting. Um, in the synopsis for this one, is that we follow a mother as the main character in which seven years ago before the story in this book started one of his sons or her sons uh, was abducted or got lost a, the son just vanished without a trace and now on the present day on this story the other her other son also got abducted or missing and again she does not have any idea what really happened it was kidnapped killed or lost and yeah i just can't really imagine what uh pain the mother undergoes in this story so it's kind of interesting and the main reason why i picked this is because of the good reviews and good reads and i just saw this on book sale by the way and for a very cheap price probably around 35 pesos so less than a dollar yeah Next is, I'm also planning to read Alistair Reynolds' Revenger. If you don't know, Alistair Reynolds is one of the best science fiction writers for adult categories. And to be honest, this one is not an adult under adult category. It is under young adult, which 
I was really surprised because I did not expect Alistair Reynolds uh, is writing under the young adult category. Um, in this story, we follow our main characters who do have an ability to read bones and when I say read bones, they're able to um, see the life and the secrets of the owner of the bones. So basically, the, the bones is from the corpse of that individual. And the settings here is set on space. So they are these main characters, young adult, are, are working for a very well-known and prominent um, space pirate. And they were being used or, yeah, they were being used by this prominent space pirate to hunt treasures. It's kind of exciting. So it's science fiction with a twist of fantasy in the outer space. So that's the main reason why I picked this one up. And lastly, hopefully, uh, this is very ambitious, but I'm still going to do my best. Uh, I'll be able to read the first book of the Lightbringer series by Brent Wicks, The Black Prism. This is the first book of the series. And this is an adult high fantasy and uh, in which we follow I don't really know much about this one but all I know is that the magic system is really unique in which individuals or characters in this book were able to have powers based on the colors for example if you have uh, if you can manipulate color red you do have this power or color green you do have this power and there's only one individual in the world set by this book that can manipulate all the colors in the rainbow or in the prism so it's kind of interesting and the, the magic system is the main reason why i'm planning to read uh, read there's there goes the mistake and it will not be removed from the video so laugh all you want <laughs> um yeah the black prism by brent wicks and um there's a mixed reviews for this one a lot of people really hate this because of some issues with regards to sexism um but uh, i think this book will be able to deliver or give me my needs and wants as a reader so i'm still going to attempt to read this one and i already own the first two book of the series i have the second book up there so yeah i'll attempt to read this for the month of november so yeah that's it guys thank you so much for viewing my video and uh, i would like to apologize if i'm all over the place or my thoughts are not really organized i just came from the office i just actually arrived minutes ago from the office and i still don't have enough rest or sleep so yeah thank you so much and i'll just uh keep you posted and wish me luck that i will be able to finish reading all of these books for this month thank you and bye bye